Successful installation of the heading sensor. Provided with your Minn Kota iPilot or iPilot Link trolling motor, unlocks and optimizes key boat control features, including spot lock and jog. Placement of the heading sensor is key to its performance. The heading sensor should be at least 24 inches away from items that can cause magnetic interference. This includes things like the base of the trolling motor, anchors, stainless steel rails, speakers and radios, and the trolling motor wiring. Mount the heading sensor on a flat, horizontal surface, with the arrow on the heading sensor parallel to the boat's keel. Because the heading sensor communicates with the iPilot controller wirelessly, there must be a clean line of sight between the sensor and the controller. That means the heading sensor should not be placed in the splash well, in a compartment, or behind a bulkhead. Once the heading sensor is secured to the boat and connected to 12 volt power, the heading sensor and the iPilot controller on the trolling motor must be paired. Begin by turning the trolling motor power on. Then, press and hold the clear button on top of the heading sensor. A fast flashing blue light will appear. Now, press and hold the pair button on the iPilot controller. An alert tone will play when the pairing is successful. Communication between the heading sensor and the iPilot controller is confirmed when a slow flashing light is observed on the heading sensor. With the heading sensor installed and paired with the controller, you're ready to unlock the full potential of your Minn Kota iPilot or iPilot Link system.